Ford Field has been very good to West Catholic over the years, and it was again today. Alec Janikopoulos joins us live from Detroit with highlights from their Division VI win. Alec? When it's been five years since your last time to Ford Field for West Catholic, you could understand the idea of coming out a little slow, having butterflies. That wasn't the case, though, for West Catholic. Their first play of the game was a 72-yard touchdown pass, and things just got better for the Falcons from there. That got the fans and team excited as they shot out to a 14-0 lead. I felt calm and relaxed, just had to do my job, execute. We worked on that play all week. You know, it's kind of one of those things, too. It's a game plan play. We, we know going into it that they're really going to be selling out to stop Timmy. So that's what I would do. And we can't blame them, right? And we want to take a, we want to be aggressive early. But that's not to say they cruise their way to a title here at the Motor City. The Miners ended the first half with a touchdown and started the second with a kick return touchdown, tying the game up to start the third quarter. But they took those shots and they punched back, scoring 31 unanswered points thanks to four Tim Kloska touchdowns. It blew the game out of the water and brought another trophy to a pretty crowded trophy case. It's a performance Coach Grove knew his guys had in them. Kind of our MO this year has been third quarters coming out with our hair on fire and kind of taking over games, and it was, it was what we did again today. I, I just saw that kick return and it really fired me up. Uh, our old line got going and it, it was just all the holes were open and we just got going. Speaking of Grove, he had about as good of a first year as you could ask. Nearly undefeated and dominant in the state championship. He's amazing. I can't thank him anymore. He was pushing me to be better and he pushed the team to be better and everybody trusted him and loved him. He just started making us outwork everyone. He started pushing us way harder than I've ever been pushed before by a coach. So that's when I knew, like, I didn't know but it, it just felt right. We were just out working everyone, working really hard. So that's when they, you kind of get that gut feeling that we're going to be a good team. The Falcons' last four-way in a Ford field was the capitalization of a five-year streak of state championships in D5. Not going to put that much pressure on Coach Grove just yet, but I think it's safe to say he wouldn't mind four more titles in D6. 